In this video, we're going to look at a way that we can kind of assess how a reaction went in the lab. Um, and this idea is known as percent yield. And essentially what the percent yield tells us is what percentage of the maximum possible amount of product was actually obtained in an experiment. So in the last couple videos, we've been talking about how much product could we produce. Doesn't necessarily mean that if you go do that reaction in the lab, you're actually going to end up with that amount for a variety of reasons, um, not least of which is things like when you transfer a reaction from one container to another, a little bit of stuff might get left behind. That's lost product. Um, maybe you are you know isolating something out of a solution and you need it to dry completely uh, if it doesn't dry completely it might actually seem like you have too much product so if you do everything really 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 well in a reaction um, for most reactions <laughs> you should get around 100% yield. Um, some reactions just don't actually go all the way to completion, but that is a topic for Chem 2. Um, so for now, assume that 100% yield is normal. Um, but it's kind of a way that we can measure, like, how well did we do our job as chemists, or how well is this reaction actually working for us? So we need a few new pieces of terminology in here. Um, so that maximum apostle maximum possible amount of product we refer to as the theoretical yield. Um, so theoretically, based on our calculations of the amount of limiting reactant available, we should be able to produce this amount of product. Uh, we call that our theoretical yield. So essentially the theoretical yield is what we have been calculating for the last couple videos. We just haven't thrown unnecessary vocabulary at it until now. Um, the actual yield is what you get if you go and actually do the reaction in the lab. So the actual yield is the amount that you get if you do an experiment. We can calculate the percent yield as the actual over the theoretical times 100. So most of the time you end up with a percent yield of less than 100%. You cannot actually produce more than is theoretically possible. Um, so percent yields under 100% are most typical. You are almost always going to lose something along the way from transferring or maybe you spilled a little, whatever the case may be. Um, if you get a percent yield above 100, that means that there's something else in there, that what you think you have isolated is not just your product. So percent yields above 100 are possible to be calculated. You can't have actually made more product than was possible, but for some reason it looks like you made more product than was possible because there's something else in your sample um, that either maybe it didn't dry, like I mentioned earlier, um, or maybe you ended up isolating like multiple products that you need to purify. Um, so yes, you can calculate a percent yield above 100. No, you can't actually have produced more product than was possible. Physics says no to that. Um, so the concept of percent yield is really pretty simple as long as you know how to determine theoretical yield, which we do. Um, so in the previous video, forgot to include the reaction here. There we go. Um, in the previous video, we dealt with the situation when five grams of hydrogen reacts with 45 grams of oxygen. We figured out the theoretical yield in the last video was 44.7 grams. So I'm just giving it to you here. So if your theoretical yield is 44.7 grams and in the lab, you managed to isolate 42.6 grams of water, what is the percent yield? So all we need to do to find our percent yield is take our actual yield, which was 42.6, divide it by our theoretical yield, which was 44.7, and multiply that by 100. And of course, I conveniently forgot to do this in advance. Cool. So that is about a 95.3 percent yield, which is pretty darn good. Um, so percent yield is a pretty simple topic, uh, pretty simple concept, um, and is a nice kind of way to gauge how a reaction went or what might be 
grown with something. Um, so 95% for most reactions is like a really good percent yield. Uh, the closer to 100, the better, generally speaking. But uh, this would be a good one. And that's all.